Welcome back to Super Metroid. Last time we started our adventure, the galaxy was no longer at peace. Uh, we fought Purple Charizard. We went to planet Zebebedebedes. Uh, damn it. Did I really just miss my one super missile? Uh, we got super missiles. We got missiles. We got power bombs. Power bombs took a bit. Um, and yeah. Here we are continuing our adventure of I suck at this game, even though I said I was knowledgeable of it. But just because I'm knowledgeable at something doesn't mean I'm good at something. And I'm going to use power bombs against these guys. Because I'm going to give them the taste of the sun. Anyway, more power bombs are over here. But they are still alive. They take like two power bombs to defeat, I think. And now that I use that power bomb, there is no more floor. And also I'm going to die. Um... How do I survive this? Okay, we get it, power suit. Oh, I died. All right, saving this time around so that I don't have to go and get the power bombs again. Crap, yeah, the power bombs. Uh, I'm contemplating if it is worth going in there. Wait, it's five extra power bombs, so I'm saying, I'm thinking that it is. But I have to kill these things first before I go and get the extra power bomb. I missed the super missile. Me and editing, try to salvage this video. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's been three minutes, and I'm already... I'm already... Like... I'm just, I'm, I don't know. Good. All right, they're dead. They're dead. I got the power bombs. Now all I have to do is escape with my life. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. All right. All right. These things are trying to grab me. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Stop. Oh my God. I'm already gonna die again. Oh no. Oh, thank God, you're dropping health now. Alright. Back on to our regularly scheduled not dying and not sucking at video games. Uh, so now that we're here, we can go up here. And I think this takes us back to the surface, which I'm not really seeing any value in right now. Yeah, this takes us to Criteria, to the surface of Criteria. Well, this is Criteria. Criteria is the surface. Um, yeah, so nothing, nothing worth going up there right now for. So we're just going to head back down. Anyway. Uh, pass the death door. Destroy this thing. They're dropping only super missiles again, which is great. I really love super missiles right now. Uh, let's see. Power bombs. Okay, so now that I have power bombs, I can start heading down 
please, please, no, 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 Screw dying. Dying is for the weak of heart. Which, actually, I guess that just means I suck. Uh... Any chance that I could get health out of you guys? Big ones, please. Nope, only small ones? That's all you're gonna give me? If you give me another small one. Okay, big one. Another big one. Another big one, let's go. Keep the keep it coming. Come on, all right. Whatever, that's enough. Uh, no. You're gonna die. I hope you enjoyed reaching off my back for the two seconds you were alive. Uh. From what I remember, I cannot grab what's over here yet, so I'm gonna peace out because there's full of spikes, and spikes means death. Uh, what's in here? Energy refill. I could have used that. This is just full of water that we do not have the ability to move around freely in. Yeah, screw it, I'm going up here. This gave us the spacer, does it not? Yeah, space. I think this is just um damage upgrade, I think. Anyway, now that I have the spacer, there's actually some secret moves in this game. Let me go uh I'll be right back. All right. So, I searched them up, the special moves. Uh, every different beam you get, you, uh, you can, uh, whatchamacallit, charge beam and at least one power bomb and at least one other beam. Select power bomb, charge beam, and one other beam. Hold the fire button. Alright, yeah. So the spacer... They they cost one power bomb each. So if you charge the power bomb, it does that, which is basically a, a vertical attack. But they cost one power bomb each, and I just use another power bomb foolishly. Oh boy. Spacer, I think naturally it just gives you a bigger beam. I don't know if it does any damage, like increased damage output, but um. Probably, if it does, probably a small, not, not a huge amount. Uh, over here, I believe it's a super missile. Yeah, that's where we can fight Kraid, I think. But, um, I think we could fight him right now. Actually, do we have to fight him? Yeah, we do, don't we? Yeah, because he gives us the... Uh, the various suit. So actually, I think I'm going to go up there and fight Kraid right now. Oh wait, no, we need the high jump. Yeah, yeah, we need high jump. All right, so there is one upgrade in there that we need to, a Norfair that we can get without the various suit. The various suit, um, I think has increased defense and lets you not melt immediately when going into a room with lava. So very important when we're in the lava area. So, um, 
I'll just go in here and try to find the high jump boots. Uh, we need the speed booster for this. That's the ice beam, I'm pretty sure. What's over here? Yeah, okay, this is lava. See, we, we took damage just from being in there. So that's not good. I wonder if the special moves that use power bombs can open the yellow doors. Alright, here's the map. This will help. Uh, high jump boots. Oh, they're right there. Beneath us, I'm pretty sure. Oh, e tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember. Hydra boots. And this opens up. Um, so this opens up Crade's layer for us. And it also lets us get an E tank back in uh, the first bit where we were, where we first got the missiles. That's very important. Actually, this is a, a grayish brown door, so I do have to kill every enemy in here. Yep. That's flashing. Go in here. And I th think that's the only thing you can do for now. But hey, now platforming isn't as annoying. Still annoying, but not as annoying when you bump into an enemy. Anyway, so with more energy and the high jump boots, I think we be a fair bit better against Kraid. Watch this, we'll just jump up in there. Wait, is this Kraid? It looks like Kraid. It could be Kraid. It's Kraid. Yeah, okay, it's Kraid. The big old green lizard from the Starbone. Uh, I shouldn't be using power bombs like that. From the Starbun song, where uh, they figured out that Samus was a girl and immediately tried to seduce her. Starbone's funny. Uh, I'm pretty sure in here. Okay, I have no idea how to do it, so I'm just gonna start mashing buttons. In here. Up top, there is a. Yeah, see, there's missiles. But uh, I cannot reach them. Oh, oh, first. No, not first try, but I just started pressing buttons. I pressed it at like a certain rhythm, but I have no idea what rhythm I pressed it, but it works. Alright, now I have missiles. More missiles, to be, to be exact. And save room, which I will take because I am tired of dying and having to redo progress that I've already done. Oh wait, no. Nope. All right, there is. Oh, right here. Over here, over there. Oh, music stops. See, there's Kraid. There's Kraid's like little uh, monster sign. And here's Tiny Kraid, which I'm pretty sure I think is a reference to the original Metroid, but I have no idea. Okay, so after looking this up, it's actually pretty messed up what Mini Kraid actually is. Mini Kraid um, in the original Metroid was the same size as the normal Kraid, but had a different color scheme. And killing Mini Kraid uh, does nothing, unlike killing the real Kraid that grants you passage to the like a Torian a different part of the map so people would kill mini Kraid think they killed the actual Kraid and leave leaving the real Kraid alive and once they figure it out 
that they didn't actually kill Kraid. They have to go all the way back and find the real Kraid. Which I just think is such a troll move on the developer's part. I just can't help but applaud them. Because I didn't play the original Metroid. Or I have, but it was just so... Not that great. It didn't age well at all. So, um... Yeah, I didn't play it that much. Also, that's just a missile refill. So I don't need that right now. I'll probably use it after the boss, though. Right. Oh, what can what be good can can be going on in here? There's such um evil. It's Kraid! It's Gojira! Just kidding, Godzilla looks a lot uh, more handsome than this guy. Anyway, you have to shoot his face and then he opens his mouth. You just gotta shoot missiles into his open mouth. Except the position his hand is at right now kind of makes that hard. And he opens up over here and then you're supposed to go over here. I just kind of mash his face in with with missiles and hope for the best. I don't really have a strategy for this guy because he doesn't require one. He's fairly weak. Anyway, now we get the uh, various suit. Yeah, the uh, the atom. It literally just looks like an atom. But now we're orange, which is what everyone usually recognizes Samus as. Orange suit, you know, with the red, big ol' shoulder bumpy things. Anyway, here's this dead guy. I didn't mention him at first, but I mean, he's here. He's there chilling with the, uh, whatever the staticky looking things are. I need the energy upgrade, but I will take the missiles. Oh, mini crate's still here. Don't know why. Pop in from the hole, shoot him a bit, you know, as it do. Anyway, now that we killed Kraid, this door to, the, to our left is flashing, which means we can now open it. And get probably just more missiles. Actually, no, it's Knee Tank in here. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. And now we can explore Norfair to our heart's delight. Or heart's content. I don't know what the thing is. Also, actually, never mind. I, th I was thinking there's a secret there, but I'm pretty sure it's just my imagination. Anyway, yeah, now we got the big old shoulder bumpy things. That makes Samus look kind of funny. Anyway, now we can go to our right. There's an opening to our left, but uh, I'm not sure about that. Oh wait, it's just the door. I'm stupid. Okay, yeah, and this is what uh, this is what we need the speed booster for. So we can go down. We could go up. I'm gonna go over here. And just enjoy life as I am 
walking above a giant pit of lava. But you can't let the giant pits of lava that are the face of imminent death get you down. Because we got more exploring to do. Like, explore more rooms that are filled with a giant pit of lava. That will boil you alive. If your suit were to malfunction or something. Oh, look, the lava's rising. That's great. Gotta get out of here real fast. Please, I would enjoy that. Okay, that guy just doesn't refuses to take damage, which respectable. If I if he does not give me consent, I cannot do anything to him. Uh, okay, that's a save room, which I'm go I'm a gonna go into very soon. But before I do that, there is upgrades to be gotten. More missiles. Jump here, jump here. Okay, bonk my head on the brick. Everything's going according to plan. Alright, then go save because that was a lot of progress that I made. Left, we can't do anything for now. So, we're gonna go down. Uh, I have no recollection of what this room is. Oh wait, yeah, it's a room where we do nothing, I forgot. Let me just use a power bomb, because I'm pretty sure there's something in here. Nope, nothing. Alright. Weird. Uh, we can't do anything to that lava monster guy. He's just a big old living mass of lava. Let me out. Let me out of lava, please. Okay, bye. I respect that you live in lava, but at the same time, please never touch me. More lava. Just get out of here as fast as I can. That weird thing. I have no idea what that guy is. Rising lava, that's not good, no good. Okay. Right across this weird little platform guy. Wait for the next little platform guy. Missed the next little platform guy. Ah, Jesus. Wait for the next little platform guy. Get on the little platform guy. Say, I forgot that part last time. Uh, here. These little weird platforms. Okay. Missiles. More missiles. Who's leaving these missiles around here? <laughs> Screw you, Grapple Beam. I don't need you. I can just wall jump, because I am a pro gamer. Also, what is this? Wave Beam. Alright. Now, this is what lets us shoot through walls and whatnot. So, um, now all those... Those doors that I have to shoot at to open are now two-way doors. But it's also just easier to go in here. I have no idea what this is for. What is this for? Right. And... Wait, power bomb? Power bomb? Question mark? Question mark? If I use a power bomb here. 
Okay, there's... Alright, so what is this for? Oh, whatever. Destroy this thing because I feel like it. Alright. Very good room to go into. Does Wave Beam give me more damage? I have no idea. Uh, judging by how fast I took that little dragon guy out, probably, yeah. Oh yeah, I should probably show off uh, the Wave Beam power. To do any of these super moves, you can only have uh, one beam type equipped along with charge. Because you need charge to even charge up the attack. And you have to go to power bombs. So with the wave beam, uh, it's these things that orbit around me. And I can see these things actually being very useful. But, um, I don't know. I, I don't see the point uh, in using all those special moves when I have tons and tons of explosives and whatnot at my... Uh, in my arsenal, just waiting to be to be used to destroy giant alien monsters. Anyway, over here is destroyable block. Over here, I have no. Oh, is this the lava trap? I think this is the lava trap. Yes, yeah, the lava trap. Oops, that's all. So this is a lava trap set by the people who are trying to kill me, which is like Ridley and Mother Brain and whatnot. And this is a speed booster. So basically, the lava starts rising, and usually you'd be too slow to escape it, but with the speed booster you just kind of become supersonic. You like you're leaving after images and everything. I was going to say and stick the landing, but I got hit right before that. So I'm going to save right now, and that's going to be the end for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I've been enjoying playing Super Metroid. I just really like this game. And, uh, you know, commentary might be a bit lacking, but that's just because I like I like this game. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what, to, what you'll take from that, apart from the fact that I like this game. Did I mention I like this game? Because I really like this game. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, you know, all that good snazzy, snazzy business. Uh, I don't know where this outro is going, so I'm going to send it here. See you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>